Buckle up, grab a spoon, pour yourself a cereal bowl. I'm going to discuss issues going on in the world. Everything from complacency to social stigmas to lighting the dark about what it's really like to be a business owner daily. This conversation isn't as common as it should be. This is why I'm giving you an inside look into what it means to thrive, not just survive, and what it means to allow consistency to conquer complacency. Now, it won't all be strippers and burritos, friends. In fact, sometimes it's going to be shrapnel and darkness. So buckle up, grab a spoon, and pour yourself a cereal bowl. We show you what being a business owner's like. They take you behind the scenes of a business owner's life. Not just the flashy stuff they show, but what goes on day to day. The good and the ugly and what it takes to pay the way. We talk about what others don't talk about. Secrets, we don't keep it. This is where we let it all out. It's time to go to another episode. So buckle up, grab a spoon, pour yourself a cereal bowl. What's up, y'all? Bryce here, and welcome back to The Inbound Secret. We've all heard it before, the cliches and the sayings. Everything from always be closing to keep it simple, stupid. But how many of us actually have been impacted by these old cliches? How many of us extracted the lessons that these are designed to show, that these cliches originated from? Well, one of my favorites is one of the best pred predictors of ultimate success isn't natural talent or even industry expertise, but how you explain your failures and rejections. It's by Daniel H. Pink. Success, much like sales, is not just about our victories or our highs. It is equally, if not more importantly, about our failures. The sales we didn't close, the clients we didn't win over, the opportunities lost but not forgotten. You see, this is an example of an important part of sales and persuasion as a whole. Simply put, human beings, people, your clients, have a higher propensity to purchase to avoid pain rather than gain pleasure. This is a behavior, a core program built into our DNA as human beings that causes direct subconscious buying habits and decisions. Simply put, your client's propensity to purchase and their likelihood to purchase from you, to purchase your product or service, as a solution is more dependent on what they feel emotionally rather than what they're thinking logically. If they feel your solution will solve their problems or help them avoid what causes them pain, they will buy. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking. There's a ton more to sales than just solving a problem. While you are technically potentially right in the process of the sale of solving that client's problem or of having a solution, there are many other factors. You are incorrect, however, in the psychology of the, in, of the sale. In the psychology of the client, the mental gymnastics that are occurring, quite bluntly, the biggest objections are related to price. The price is too high. The price is non-negotiable. Price, 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 blah, 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 blah. That's your client telling you that they don't see the value in your offer. That they do not believe that your product or service will solve their pain or help them avoid pain, not just the dollar amount. You see, price is only an issue in the absence of value, and an objection is only an unanswered question manifesting itself as an obstacle and worry. So let's play a little game, shall we? An experiment, if you will. A mental activity that I want you to do something for you. I want you to put yourself in your buyer's shoes for a second. Put yourself on the receiving end of your sales pitch, how you sell, of the process you put prospects through every day, and tell me, tell yourself actually, does it evoke emotion? Does it demand a response and does it attract you to take action? Or does it feel bland? Does it feel empty? Does it feel like features and not benefits? Would it entice you to buy... And if not, then you need to optimize your messaging, turn your mess into your message, go from problematic to prolific, and really start following formulas that have successful records. The three that we teach, AER, Thrive, and NLP, these three individual parts were learned from several coaches, mentors, companies that we've worked with or even partnered with, and Thrive was personally developed by me for the Inbound Secret and Funnel Driven. We've imprinted our mission, our vision, our strategy, our life, thrive, not just survive into them, with behavioral data, interest data, and experience 
for you. Buckle up, grab a spoon, pour yourself a cereal bowl. I'm going to discuss issues going on in the world. Everything from complacency to social stigmas to lighting the dark about what it's really like to be a business owner daily. This conversation isn't as common as it should be. This is why I'm giving you an inside look into what it means to thrive, not just survive, and what it means to allow consistency to conquer complacency. Now, it won't all be strippers and burritos, friends. In fact, sometimes it's going to be shrapnel and darkness. So buckle up, grab a spoon, and pour yourself a cereal bowl. We show you what being a business owner's like. They take you behind the scenes of a business owner's life. Not just the flashy stuff they show, but what goes on day to day. The good and the ugly and what it takes to pay the way. We talk about what others don't talk about. Secrets, we don't keep it. This is where we let it all out. It's time to go to another episode So buckle up, grab a spoon, pour yourself a cereal bowl